Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 20. We had a really in-depth discussion last episode. Yes. We finally learned what was in the basement. And it was a bunch of uh, books. Yay. Look, I'm sure people who love books would have been really excited about that. I couldn't contain my excitement. Was I expecting to see eyeballs and fingers? Yeah, like I expected a teleportation device or a time machine or... <laughs> books are fine. Books are great. What was in the book was important. So Grisha looks to have had a second family. Yes. Now you were theorizing that it was sometime in the future. I was theorizing that it was sometime in the past, long time ago. And your theory made no sense. Well, you know what, Angelo? Since then, I've actually changed my theory. Okay. Is that because my theory made a lot of sense? No. Okay. I liked my theory. Essentially, for those who haven't seen the discussion of last episode, I was saying that Grisha got punished for whatever he was doing at the end of last episode, a while back, got punished with an injection, which was the syringe. It was a mindless Titan for a long time, like a very long time, ate a Titan shifter, ended up being a human again, found himself near the walls that we know, near Shiganshina, saw Carla, obviously said, well, look. Your top shelf. Let's make a baby. And then he had Aaron. So that's how I think his timeline is gone. I also think, and so do you, that the baby in the image was Zeke. Yeah. Because of the lighter hair. Kind of looks like Zeke too with the middle part. Yeah. The L middle part. Yeah, the middle part. Yeah. Yeah, so growing from that, there seemed to be some level of control from Grisha's childhood in that scene. Mm. You know, they had those gates there. Yeah. Um... I'm not sure what was going on. It looked like quite a controlled environment. Maybe the leader or whatever of that Dis region. District, district or region, yeah. Area was like, this is not working. People have too much freedom. They're too creative. They're going against my will. I want to find a way to really control the crap out of them. Because we know Armin's parents were killed because of their innovation. They wanted to fly. That didn't go down well. Erwin's dad, very smart man. Too smart. So they shot him in the head or whatever they did. They burned him alive, I think, actually. But, um, but where was all that? I don't know. I feel like that was... Same place, we'll say. As Grisha? I don't yeah. think it was there. Erwin should know where his dad was. I'm pretty sure Erwin's dad was where we've seen all the characters so far. Yeah. We'll say it's the same place. Okay. I'm, I'm going as like Grisha's childhood somehow at the same place now. Oh. The walls and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the king just at one point was like, I've had enough. I want complete control. Wipe everyone's memories. We're introducing Titans now <laughs> to keep everyone in check. Okay. Yada, yada. We're going to destroy all the history books except for one. We're going to give it to Grisha for some reason. And he's going to hide it in the basement. <laughs> so then they implemented like these new outfits and everything to make it seem like it was a really long time ago. Oh, okay. Um, like a thousand years ago or 2000 years ago. And yeah, the reason maybe they don't want them to leave the walls is because they'll find people from like the future and stuff. Like, not future. I see. But living normally. Okay, I like this theory a lot better than your last one, last episode. This sounds a, a lot better. It's just the process, the brainstorming process, you know? Okay. Okay, so the world that we're looking at is made to look and made to be believed by the people there to be a long time ago. But in actuality, the world is quite advanced already. Yeah. And they're holding these people back for... Control. Whatever control reason. Yeah. Okay. I like that a lot better. Mm. We'll have to wait and see. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very important episode because we've been told to watch it twice. Okay. And we're going to do that. So the first discussion will be from our first watch through. And then the second discussion will be from our second watch through. Yeah. All right. Should we get into it? Let's get into it wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our patreon members and moderators thank you so much for all your love and support on the channel just a reminder you can get early access to all of these videos over on patreon and the full-length reaction to this episode will be there as well
This is way more futuristic. Yeah, the car. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Okay. I brought the book back. I feel like it's needed. Okay. That day. Alright, so your second theory might be onto something here. Mm. Eldians? What's over there? The sea? The lake, and there's some sort of aircraft. <laughs> Oh, so cute. Oh no. What the heck? Aww. Aww, he's so sweet. <laughs> What the heck is going on here, man? Dude. Kruger, do we know that name? I don't think so, no. What the heck? Arrow Dime. Oh, yeah, that's what we need. Let's see what we got here. Don't act all nice now. What? They killed her. Marley Public. His daughter died. <sighs> If his dad didn't lose it at them, probably would have got killed. Wait, what? What the heck? Wait, what? 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 Wait, Okay. Great Titan War. Are there two Titans we haven't seen yet? Oh my gosh. There's too much to take in at the moment. Oh no. <gasps> okay. Sounds like Aaron. This place doesn't seem a lot better than the one that we're used to. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know what he was thinking. I swear he learned to become a doctor. It's not right now. Oh, no. He's got the tattoo. What? No. Oh my gosh. No. Yamiya Fritz. Okay. Fritz. Okay. Fritz. So Aaron is part Aldian. Who's this? Smiley Titan! Oh no! 
Okay. <laughs> <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> One of those other humans look like a beta titan we had seen before. Oh. It's a generational thing. I don't think they have enough children to be able to Oh wow. This is where they must turn them into beta titans. Okay. Yeah, life sentence. Pure titan they call it. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that. Did he tell him to rat them out? Oh gosh. What the heck? Didn't they inject him? Oh. That's horrible. He's a crap. He's a wanker. Here we go. Yeah, it's taking place in the future because that technology is pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Turn them into titans. Yep. If it is technology. Biogenetics. This is so horrible and he's just got to watch. That's his wife. Yep. Yeah. She's royal. Yeah, she's a yeah, descendant yeah, 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 of that's Mia. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that makes sense how Eren got that power. So much to talk about. <sighs> oh my gosh. So that means she has to have been the smiley titan. Yes, she is. <laughs> Did he just remember? Remember, he ate his father. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
All right. It's not the best hair day for Mikasa, but you know. <laughs> It's more than just a dream. Mm. I think Mikasa looks lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It is. <laughs> what the heck? Dude. You said that an episode ago. How did you get that? Woman's intuition. Oh, what the heck? We hadn't even seen Dina smile yet. <laughs> yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? This is the Titan that I recognize. This one here, I'm pretty sure. Which Titan is he? I've just seen his face. Okay. He's just a random beta Titan. Oh my gosh. Now this guy's lost the plot. Lost it. He just does it without care. Educational. Okay. To let dogs eat a little girl. How can he do that? Yeah, do you not recognize yeah. that time? Gosh. So what are they called? Subjects of Yamiya. Oh, this guy's a sicko. Ah! Oh. Let's go! Well, he said he was ready for it. Is that Kruger? Oh my gosh, he pushed him himself. Yeah, it's got a suck. <laughs> Based? What on earth? The Shredded! Oh! I'm glad we were recommended to watch it a second time. Because that had the most information. Yes. Like important information that we've seen in an episode before. Was that 20 minutes? That seems like 40. Well, we'll have our first discussion before we watch it again. Yeah. So I wrote down a couple of the important, like, names and words and stuff like that. Eldians. Yeah. So the Eldians, what people are they? I couldn't tell you exactly, but Grisha and some of those people are trying to reclaim their status mm. sort of thing. Yeah. He married Dina Fritz, who was of royal blood. Yeah. She was a descendant of Ymir. Yeah, now... Who had the founding titan. Correct. And that's how it was, like, passed on to Eren, it looks like. Well, it said the founding titan split into nine. Nine different titans. So, yeah, I'm guessing, like, descendant of the beast titan and all that there. All, like, the colossal, the armoured titan. Didn't they say one time that... Seven were distributed. I swear I saw the word seven out of nine somewhere. Oh, yeah. Seven, like, were able to be controlled and then two weren't, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And then we've got the Mali public, what they're called. Is that just the everyone else? I think so. Okay, not the Eldians. So there's the Eldians and the Mali. Yeah. Okay. They're kind of racist against the Eldians, it looks like. Yeah. Now, back in the day... Ymir Fritz was the founding Titan, and the Titans, the special Titans that we're seeing are subjects of Ymir. I'm pretty sure that's okay. how it works. Okay, the, the Fritz family. So there was Ymir Fritz was the original one, the founding Titan. Dina, which was Grisha's first wife, was a descendant of the founding Titan. Dina's also the smiley Titan. Yeah. Which might explain how Eren got his coordinate 
slash founding titan abilities. Yeah. When he touched her palm. That was weird. How did that happen? I swear that's when he got the power, when he well, went to a, touch her palm. A similar thing happened when Rod and Historia touched Eren's back. I guess so. But they didn't really get... Did they get power? They just got the memories. They weren't titans. Now, hold on a minute. I, I want to talk about, before we watch the episode again, I want to talk about the shredded titan that we just saw. Yeah, I don't... I'm getting confused now. So, so it starts with that guy. He's the shredded titan. Yeah, he was the owl. He was a titan shifter. Green eyes. Yeah. Yeah. He was a titan shifter. It looked exactly like the shredded titan. And he was picking up all this stuff. Yeah. The shredded titan was a product of the daddy titan and Frida. I don't think so. Someone clarified in the comments. No? No. Oh. But I think they take on characteristics of who's controlling them at that point. So if Grisha ate the Shredded Titan, maybe he turned into the Daddy Titan. And then Grisha ate Frida, who had the Founding Titan ability. Yeah. So then Grisha was like maybe an ultimate Titan, Mm. some sort of ultimate Titan. And then Eren ate Grisha. So Eren got all that power. Yeah. So now Eren all of a sudden is very important. So maybe Grisha was just trying to pass on his will to revive the Eldians or like... Justice for them. Yeah, justice for the Eldians through Eren. Yeah. And Zeke betrayed him. Was Zeke told to? I can't remember exactly what's like, going to happen. We'll, we'll see it again. No five-year-old kid is going to go to the police and be like, yo, my parents are up to some bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, that seems a bit odd. <laughs> yeah. As soon as Dina walked out... I knew straight away by the hair. The, sh- I, the shorter blonde hair? Yeah, the shorter blonde. It was like a, you know, a mousy blonde. Originally, the hair was similar to like Armin's hair, but obviously the smiley titan can't be Armin. <laughs> no. But when I saw her, I'm like, yeah, that hair, that belonged to the smiley titan. Oh, you said it in the previous episode when you saw the photo. I just, the smiley titan has been at the back of my head now ever since... The Smiley Titan came back. I was like, okay, there's got to be a reason for this. This is not just for nothing. Mm -hmm. And so, to be honest, every single time I've seen a new, like, blonde character, I've been like, oh, Smiley Titan. Oh, right. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, I wasn't, it wasn't confirmed when I saw the photograph that. You just thought maybe it was someone linked to Grisha. Yeah, yeah. But then when I saw her walk in the room like that and her hair was the way it was, um, yeah. That, like, confirmed it for me. I want to know now what happens to this uh, Shredded Titan, how this got passed on to Eren. Yeah. Obviously through Grisha. This will be quite interesting. We're going to watch it a second time and then come back for our second discussion. All right, we watched that again. Carly's written down essentially the whole entire script. There's the, what, the Marlies? Marley mm. and the... The Marlians, I think they called them. Some degree, and the Eldians. And the Eldians. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much the Marlians have told, like, their people... That the Eldians began with, like, the royal bloodline and stuff. And one day, like, Ymir, part of the royal family, came across, like, the the devil or whatever. Mm. And created, like, this contract, um, which gave her the power of the Titans. When she died, that power got split into nine other Titans. And so began the Dark Ages, which apparently ran on for, like, 1,700 years. Um, They would, like kill a bunch of people and they would steal land and like take over or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, but somehow the Mali side gained control over seven of the Titans and they won the great Titan war, right? which was like 80 years ago from that setting where Grisha was a boy having that chat with his dad. His yeah. sister had just died. Mm-hmm. That's when the Eldian King erected the walls and took most of his people with him. The people he left behind suffered greatly due to like racism and all that yeah, bad stuff. Which we kind of saw with that fat, bold dude. Yeah, Grisha and his family were part of those people who were left behind. Mm-hmm. So Grisha's dad said that the Eldians, which they're descendants of, believed in like eugenics. Mm-hmm. So I think the Marlies have told everyone that and they're supposed to believe it full stop yeah then they said that oh all that's a lie like that's not actually true (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, it's like, who, who are we meant to believe? <laughs> yeah. And then it was said that Gimia actually awakened the power of the Titans for good, yeah. not for evil. And that's how this civilization got so advanced. Yeah. And all of that. And that's how this little party came together because, you know, they believe that their people aren't in the wrong and all this terrible stuff didn't actually happen. All right. So now that we kind of know the history about how everything came to be, what are our updated theories looking like? So your second theory that you went through in the intro of our reaction to this episode was kind of like the walls that we see and inside the walls there, it's made to look like it's not progressed and it's a lot older and they're not with the times they haven't advanced yeah it's just made to look that way and in fact outside the walls there's a lot of advanced tech and civilization and everything like that so it's looking likely that what happened was these two sides have raced to the island i think the paradise island is what they're calling it to get hold of the founding titan ability so that's why everyone came all together sort of thing. That's why Bert, Reiner, Zeke, Grisha, that's why everyone sort of came. I think it was in that specific location too because of those resources that they were talking about. Oh, yes. Yeah, we also, like a, have, we also have to talk about that. Yeah, like a bunch of resources there that apparently the Mali people can't ignore any longer. Mm. But I think it was said that the king told them if they interfered with them at all, they would release millions upon millions of titans and it would destroy the earth pretty much. Yeah. So I think that might be this big event that they keep talking about. Yeah. Why Reiner wants to save Historia, his promise to Ymir, mm -hmm. because inevitably millions of Titans are going to be released yeah. and maybe they know how to stay safe from that destruction. Right. Okay. So Zeke, he's on a different side to Grisha. Yeah. He ratted out his parents. I still don't know about that because he was a pretty young kid. Yeah, that seems very odd. I don't know if that maybe would have happened like that. It was like a setup. It feels wrong because the payoff seems small. If Grisha told Zeke to rat them out to protect his parents. No, I don't think that happened. I think maybe Zeke was influenced by his grandparents. Oh, yeah, his grandfather. Yeah, his dad. Yeah. Maybe that's how it happened. So the episode kind of ended with the Shredded Titan there. The owl. Yeah, the owl. So this Kruger was the Shredded Titan, inherited that power, which I'm assuming Grisha is about to get. That's sort of where it leads, because mm -hmm. otherwise how is it passed on to Eren? So how does Grisha do it? Does he wait for Kruger, or whatever his name is, to... Turn back into a human. Yeah, because maybe Grisha put it together, like, okay, if I eat him now... A lot to process. Do no, you think Kruger wanted that to happen? I'm not sure, but I'm going to say Grisha's a smart dude. I reckon... Kruger's doing this demonstration. When that demonstration is over, Grisha will see that Kruger can turn back into a human and Grisha will piece everything together. He'll inject himself, maybe, to, to gain this power. Mm. And uh, then eat Kruger. Yeah, maybe. I'm just thinking about the color of the eyes. You know how some are green and some are red? Mm. Maybe like the seven titans that could be controlled at green eyes and then the two that can't be controlled are red i don't think so i don't think we've seen the other two titans well it might be um the beast titan i think that was part of the seven i'm pretty sure that was part of the seven i reckon there's two titans we haven't seen because i was trying to go through all the titans that we're aware of that we've seen and it definitely doesn't get to nine no now i'm wondering what happened with zeke so this was a good episode for us to understand what happened to Grisha and everything like that. Yeah. Um, well, Zeke is also his toy sloth. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't realize that the, it was a sloth. But how does that work? How do you get to choose what it looked like? That seems like an odd coincidence. I don't know. And how did Grisha turn into the daddy titan? Was that a mix between him and the shredded? Maybe I'm confused there, but... Well, that's what I thought too. It was just like a combination of DNA and that's how you look. Yeah, because Eren's Shredded Titan looks different to the Kruger's Shredded Titan in the face a little bit. Yeah. They've both got the green eyes, but their face and their hair obviously look different. Mm. What do you think about the king? Like, he didn't fight for his people. He just ran away. Yeah, does, how does the Bryce family or the Race family fit into that? 
Well, it was similar because this king of the Eldians, he ran off and didn't want to fight and he built up the walls and he's like, stay away. And that was the same as Roy, wasn't it? Not Roy. Rod. Yuri. Oh, Yuri. Yuri didn't want to fight either. Mm. Um, so I'm not sure why they share the same philosophy there, but I'm sure it's no coincidence why. Maybe because they didn't want the millions of Titans to be released. Yeah, at the end of the episode, Kruger, I think his name was, stopped Grisha from saying she's of royal blood, like mm. Dina, my wife. Yeah. Yeah, he was like covering his mouth. Yeah. So I think maybe in that moment he was hoping that she would venture out and eat someone or... Because if... Okay, so if... um If she got the, her hands on the founding titan, for example, something like that. Yeah, but if Grisha had have clearly said she's of royal blood and that other dude heard, do you think he would have just killed her on the spot or... Maybe. Yeah, okay. there would have been a different outcome to that situation. So then I want to go through why... Dina rocked up at Erin's house and ate Carla. Now, I understand she feels threatened. I understand that, right? And to be fair to Dina, she wasn't all too bad herself (laughs) in her human form. Titan form, I can guarantee you that Carla's Titan form, if she had one, would look a lot more pleasing than the smiley Titan. Oh, my gosh. She was jealous and just ate Carla. Was that a coincidence? Because I thought the mindless Titans didn't really... Well, she's got that royal element to her. Yeah. So maybe it was like passed down from generations. These Brits people. Yeah. Well, I think now we know how the Beast Titan kind of controls a whole heap of Titans. Because Zeke is of royal blood. Yeah. Because he's the son of Dina. Mm -hmm. Who's a descendant of Ymir. That's crazy. Yeah. Now... Eren got the power to control the Titans as well after he punched... Yeah, he high-fived the Smiley Titan. Yeah. Maybe by simply touching her, it just unlocked certain memories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that seems plausible. Yeah, there's a lot of information. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot. At least we... Like, literally, like, (sighs) those two pages. Yeah, at least we know now what Grisha has been up to. What he's been doing. Do we, though? Not entirely, (laughs) but we know a lot of it now. So we're just still trying to piece together what happened between now, when we see the Kruger shredded Titan, Mm. and when he rocks up at the wall, Yeah, not knowing anything. Okay. But I don't think it was clear to me who the good guys and the bad guys are. I think, again, it's just two different perspectives on who the good guys are, because the Malians think you guys are monsters, you're Titans, you know, like... So they're really racist against them sort of thing. Yeah. And then the Eldians think, no, we've done a lot. Ymir did a lot. Mm -hmm. They look up to Ymir. And so they want the power back in their hands. So it's essentially the Malians and the Eldians fighting for the power of the Titan, the founding Titan. They're fighting for the control, essentially. I think there's good people on both sides. And that gets mixed up because, I mean, Child Eren was like, Who's the bad guy? Is it me or the world? Mm. He's like, maybe it's both. But Oh, that was Grisha. Sorry, who did I say? Eren. I meant Grisha. Yeah. No, Eren <laughs> Aaron hates the Titans. Yes. That's his stance on the world. No, but I mean, the idea that someone has to pay for like their ancestors' sins or crimes or whatever, that's like pretty prominent here. I'm hoping in the next episode we see how Grisha got the shredded Titan ability. Yes. Because I think it's obvious that he gets it because mm. it's been passed to Eren. I think Kruger wants him to have it. He did say something at the end there, didn't he? Remember this, Grisha. This is how you use the Titan ability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I reckon he's teaching him, maybe teaching him how to control the Titan power. Okay. But I mean, he has to die in order for that to happen. I think maybe because there was a witness. I think there were more witnesses maybe there. Oh, yeah. Weren't there more people? Yeah. There? So I think maybe he's just going to give it up now. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. They're going to freak out. I was doing this. Oh my God. No, they're coming at me in the comments section saying I'm staring into their soul. So I was staring into their soul that time. Oh, that's bad. They're going to be like images of me now. You know, take screenshots of me.
And whose fault is that? It's mine. Yeah. They probably got a good scare out of that, though. 